Hello networkers, I'm excited to introduce the release of our new video training series focused on deploying SDN using OpenFlow and REST APIs. In this course, we'll be covering a lot of different areas. We'll be setting up a data center clause topology with dual spine switches and two leaf switches attached. We will have server endpoints connected to the leaf switches and we will have a layer 3 domain for external routing and access to the internet. Our topology will consist of physical switches, not virtual switches, consisting of Hiller Packard, Cisco, and the small but powerful Zodiac OpenFlow switch. I will show you how to set up a SDN controller and how to configure the different switches to register with the SDN controller in the environment. The biggest aspect that I will teach you in this course is network programmability using REST APIs and Python for installing flows onto the switches to influence how traffic is forwarded within our data center clause topology. I will show you how to build a very basic Python script which will build each flow individually and sending those flows using REST API requests to the SCN controller to be installed on the switches in the environment. Plus, as a huge bonus in this course, I will show you how to build a more advanced Python script where we can define all of our traffic flow definitions in a text file and our script will automatically create all of the flows that are needed and of course sending those flows using REST API requests to the SDN controller to be installed on the switches. For example, we'll be creating three different text files. One will be called network that will list each of our switches in the data center clause topology followed by other important information. We will list all of the server endpoints, including its IP, its MAC address, and which switch and port is connected to. And we will list the flow definitions that will describe which particular hosts need communication between each other. Within that file, we want this particular server, server one, to communicate with server two within our data center topology. So right now, no flows are installed on our switches. And let's quickly show you that by going back to the web interface of our controller. And this will list all of our switches. If I go to one of our spine switches and go to flows, you'll see that there are no flows installed in the flow table. If we go to server one in our environment and try to ping server two, you'll see that we will not be able to ping that server. Let's go back to our script and let's build all of our flows and install them on the switches and show you what happens. Okay, so we'll be adding ARP flows, IP flows, and any internet flows if needed. Once that completes, let's go back to our server, and you'll see that we're now able to ping server two based on the definitions that we defined. If I go back to our controller and look at the flow tables now for our spine switch, for example, we will see many flows created automatically. I will show you how to do all of this in this course step by step. Lastly, I will show you how you can build your own virtual lab for hands-on learning with SDN and REST APIs. And this will be one of the many things that we will teach you in this course. We'll be doing network configuration, but most of all, teaching you how to do network programmability using REST API and Python to advance your skills as a network engineer. You can get more details on our website at routehub.net.